Welcome to season two of my dude. Welcome! Woohoo! <laughs> Bigger and better, as you can see. <laughs> our friend. Try, buddy. Our friend James. Yes. James. You know James's story well. So, James was driving a car. And she, yes, James is a girl. She was stopped by the police because her tread was worn out and one, one of her tires. And the alternative to being put in the, in the police station to write a statement and do all those things mm. and pay fines in court was to uh, be creative, if you know what I'm saying. So she decided to be creative. And she, she decided to pay the police woman or man I don't know. Cause the, the details are sketchy because yeah. I'm not James. Because it's, you know, we, we heard from James. We heard it from herself. James, yes. So, what we <laughs> want to talk about is the getting creative, aka okay, bribing. How do you feel about bribing? Or me? I feel that bribing is a, a thing that happens and it's not going to stop happening until the, the culture and the society changes. Not only the, the corruption, but also the, the punishments fitting the crimes. When James told you her story, mm. what did you tell James? I told James, hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do because you are proceeding with your life up until that point, so it's quite interrupted. But James was on the wrong. James was definitely on the wrong. So see, James and get Yeah, that's an option, but also James didn't have money, she said. When James was telling us the story, James said that the cop told James um, the fine. The fine is twenty Gs, which it isn't, by the way. It's like it's it's between seven and uh, ten thousand per tire that is worn out. That doesn't have tread. Yeah. So now, what I understand that James was trying to avoid is going into the cop station, having the NTSA guys look at your car and then find everything else that's wrong with the car. And, and they're then, billing you. It's like okay, invoice, invoice, invoice. But you see now, buying a new tire is like five five. Some of these punishments are very punitive. It's it's some of these offenses. It's like don't you have better things to do? Yeah, you're a traffic policeman, sour, but this is a person who was going about their day. Yes, they're on the wrong, but some of these things are things that you can let someone off with a warning, or you can, you know, get them to pay the fine, but why are they paying more than they're going to pay for a tire? Actually, James told us that she was actually on the way to the garage to, to change get the car that fixed. Tire. So, the culture of bribery comes from... I feel like a disconnect between, first of all, maybe if James knew that the fine was only going to be 7 Gs instead of 20 Gs, because 20 Gs is scary. Okay, 7 Gs is scary, it's January. Everything is scary. <laughs> but like, I feel like also sometimes when you know, like you, when you're stopped for mud flaps and you don't know that it's not illegal, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. And they, they use that fear on you. I think another thing that contributes to the culture of corruption and bribery is the simple fact that the person who's administering the, the law is is not in a better situation than you in terms of financial uh, you know, stability. And or they are in a better position and they're trying to catch up with their head boss who has apartments in Sijuya. So they're then not in a better position because if, 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 if they felt, you know, what's the word, satisfied with the, the current employment situation and the money that they're making from the employment legally, then the, I feel there would be a lot less instances of, of corruption. Number one, cops should be paid better. Not a that lot corruption better. like completely is eliminated. It'll be when reduced significantly. It'll be reduced significantly because it's it's really hard to be satisfied with your job when you're earning peanuts and you're living in a Mabati house. Yeah. Like I know cops' kids who grew up in Mabati houses, like the size of this carpet, and they're sharing it with like this half is for you know this cop's this family cop and, this and this half, yeah. and it's tiny. And it's by like, these are people who are supposed to be giving up their lives for you, by the way. RIP. These are people the, who are supposed to be uh, upholding the law. They're seeing you walking around with your loose ten thousand in the pocket, and you think they're not going to try and get it. Amen. On that note, RIP to the soldiers who died in Somalia. Hashtag I stand with KDF. Fighting for our country. Mm. While we're on the subject, mm. another way for James to avoid. Paying fines is to it's maintain, maintain your car. Your car. Yes. The, the reason why these things are illegal is because it's a safety issue. And you can Other road them. users can be hurt, killed, maimed. Many, many bad things can happen if you don't have tread on your tires, if you don't have indicators, if your lights don't work. Oh my gosh. Just keep have, your car in good working order. Have indicators, use indicators. Use indicators. <laughs> Abigail has a car. <laughs> Abigail uses indicators. Abigail is a good driver. Be, be like, like Abigail. Abigail. 
So France is stupid. Why do we feel like France is stupid? The mm. French government. In our opinion, France is stupid. Wait. The French government is a bastard, but apparently other governments are just as bastardizing as these guys. What we're saying but is all the colonizers, all of them. For me, I feel the overtness of the French system currently. Uh, former colonies of France in Africa still pay taxes and uh, I don't know existence fees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, they exist, to the they fucking colony. For example, they'll send their money to France to be printed, and then France will keep some of their money while sending it back to them for them to use. Because um, some of those countries don't have central banks. In okay. any of these countries, if they discover any minerals, France is the one who's going to be told, "Hey, you want to buy this or not?" First, nah? before they get into the open market, and so no one else can be the, told this. Yeah, so you can't get into the open market to sell your minerals to make so your you country can't, money. So you can't, you can't, you can't support your country. Basically, everything you do is dictated by the French government. And I'm like, but it's 2016, and I'm like, yeah, it we're happens. still doing this in 2016. You know what would be great? Gaddafi's dream would be. What did I just say? Did Gaddafi. I say Gaddafi's dream. What did I say? Gaddafi's dream. Gaddafi's dream would be great. Like if all of Africa united and was just like, nah, man. Yeah. It would be great if it would happen, and I feel like it's it's not something that's likely to happen in in the our next lifetime. ten years, in the next twenty years, maybe at the end of our lifetime, because our kids are feeling will be feeling oh your, your kids the kids that will be born from the generation that we are in okay. will be feeling the 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 feeling even more because you know some of these things are amplified. If we start talking about it early enough, maybe yeah. like the ball will get rolling and by the time we get to you guys as kids and stuff, they'll be like, yes, let's do it. Let's change Africa. Let's not stop taking this bullshit of giving but tax yeah, to... But it's, it's already begun. Like that TED talk we watched where she's like uh, talking about Africa. And we do stuff like watching yeah. TED talks, yeah. TED talks are very enlightening. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> <laughs> get in a day. Get in a day. <laughs> time to move on to netflix and no chill netflix and no chill netflix recently decided hey you know what what would be nice if we tapped the one billion strong market of africa and uh offered our services there because hey do you know what we need to launch internet oh do they have internet in africa Mm -hmm. oh hello but yes netflix is here netflix is here but kfcb is being silly kenya Classific- Kenya Film Classification Board. Ooh. Yeah, even even the acronym is boring. Ooh. <laughs> you fuck my juice, huh? Who these people? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's for you, KFCB. In case you missed it. And your logo is really boring. Okay, so let me just break it down. Netflix wants uh, KFCB wants Netflix to kind of like stop slash reduce. Like they want to regulate what content is being shown on Netflix to the Kenyan market. But you get Netflix by paying for internet. Yeah, so. Are they going to now regulate the internet? Are they going to stop people from going on Pornhub? Are they going to shut down Twitter? Like, are we Egypt now? What we don't understand is why KFCB feels like they can regulate. Um, I mean, the argument. regulating bodies are, you know, important because, you know, you don't want to corrupt the kids. But at the same time, the people who KFCB are and the things they're trying to regulate, it's a bit ridiculous. Their main argument is that it's immoral because it's bringing immoral values into the market because they don't have a proper above 13, above 16 thing, which is nonsense. Because if you're not reg- regulating everything else on our TV screens, which means DSTV, Zuku, KTN, all the soaps that have kissing, all the dedicated all telenovelas the that are for like this, all the booty popping, all the working. What is the, first of all, I don't think that people have the moral authority to, not because you are immoral, but you don't have the moral authority to tell someone else what is moral. So if I decide to go by choice on internet and look up what you deem is immoral, that's not in your damn business. Like, what? Your job as a regulator is not to judge what's moral and immoral. It's on to, the internet. Yeah. If you feel, if you were given the mandate by the Kenya government to do that for what's on our screens, then actually do it for what's on our screens, not what's on our computer and our internet and stuff like that. Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't feel like, anyway, I don't feel like they should have mandate, but I feel like it's stupid and I feel like they want publicity because everyone has forgotten that they exist. Zuko is increasing its subscription fees for all their packages. So, for example, I'm on the 10 Mbps one and they're increasing it to 15 MPB, MBPS megabits per second not megabits with a small b with a small <laughs> with a small b and they didn't ask anyone I don't know about small b's <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to move on <laughs> they didn't ask anyone if we want to be increased for they didn't you know they I just feel texted the, the, people you know, you and know, I don't want your TV channels guys I don't want your TV Zuko, channels get the fuck out of here with your TV I know, no one watches it internet. no one wants to watch it, it. 
My men? My men. Well, we're on that story for uh, paying things for paying Netflix for Zuku and, and the DSTV. That DSTV thing, first of all, it just hurt me. It's like, DSTV, <laughs> you think you, we think you're stupid. <laughs> you, do I look like a stupid? Do I look like a stupid DSTV? Please. This one looks like a stupid DSTV. Please. Ati, Oh, if you want to get Netflix, you need to get an internet connection. <gasps> like this, this, this. You need to get this, this, and the other. You have to install it. I'm like, uh, DSTV, mm-hmm. in case you didn't know. I was already getting internet. Yeah. Even before Netflix came. So if we do the comparison, Netflix, to get Netflix is eight talk a month. Eight and then if the, you have the, internet yeah. like ten MBPS, it's about um, five let's say five dollars. So five thousand eight hundred to get Netflix every month. Let's say even you put the installation cost, it's five G's for installation. Yeah. And for, I think now they're doing a month free. Zoom. The first month yeah. you get free, so you don't have to then do the first month. First month is free. So, so basically five G's eight hundred, six thousand shillings. Okay, you get that's counts installation. Internet, that's eleven. Okay. Eleven thousand. You get internet, you get uh, Netflix. To install DSTV, it costs 10 Gs. 10,000! 10, 10 racks. 10! Uh, the, 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 the package that you want, that has the things that you're paying for, that otherwise, why are you paying for DSTV, mm. is 11,000. The one that has all the fun things. Yes. Like, more than two Super Sport channels. The one that so, you if, we, the if you're one. looking at the most exorbitant internet and the most exorbitant Netflix, you're still going to be paying half what DSTV charges you a month. There'll be enough net, flicks, and you'll have change for chill. My friend, get ra ra here. Yeah, do me a favor, please, she. Zugu, before you increase the fees of anything, anything, make sure that your service works. Because make sure that it works. Rather... I would rather pay more, but have it consistently. Please. If that is your problem, you need more money to make it consistent. Please just do it. Yes. Thanks. Did you know that if Zuku like doesn't have doesn't like give you internet for like one two three days, you can call them and be like, you need to cut this shit off my subscription because I'm not paying because I didn't use the motherfucker. There was internet. no internet to call use. Call them. Demand your rights. Hashtag know them. <laughs> Hashtag guys in Ruisa. Man, it's fucking ridiculous. Also, I mean the fact that they allow some people to do internet only. Oh, Imagine me, I only need know, internet. Zuku. What the hell? Why, why are you telling me that guys in Eastlands and guys in other places can pay for internet only and you can't do it for me? May I want to and I know me. I know it's easy for you to do because I've I've had you do it. It's like uh, just remove. Yes. Just remove. Uh, you'll have it done by the channel. end of the day. Take your Fantastic. channels. Take remove them. all of the TV. I don't, I don't want because your TV is shit. Your TV is really shit. Don't do it. Remove your phone because hey, we are in 2016. We have these things called do? mobile phones. So please, get right here. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. But get right here before you follow, like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on, on Facebook, Facebook, on the YouTube. Exclusive videos. On, we are on Snapchat, on Snapchat as well. And we are in 2016. And SoundCloud. I know I sound really old now, but whatever. You are we are on really Snapchat. <laughs> follow us. My man, shots fired episode one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs>